Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It is 8.10 a.m. I just looked out the window and saw this. So there's one of the kittens. And I have to tell you how mad I am. I'm so mad right now. I just checked the security camera footage from overnight. It looks like there was a coyote on the patio. Um, the coyote came up the side of the house and then it came over here. It sniffed this plate and it sniffed around here and then it left. Um, it appears to be a coyote. It looks young. It looks really thin. It look like very hungry. It's the first time I've seen a coyote in this entire town. Um, the closest I ever saw a coyote was like five or six miles away um, in like a few towns over. And that was many years ago. So... I don't need this. I mean, just yesterday I was thinking, oh, that it's so nice that the cats are safe outside again because I feel like over the past few years the cats really have not been safe outside. And then lately I was like, oh yeah, the cats are, are safer outside again. But nope, now there's a coyote roaming around. So I really truly hope it was just passing through and it went far away last night and it's not going to come back. But now I'm going to have to check the security cameras like every night to see what's going on. Here's Boo. He's very tired because he was up all night doing his job looking out the windows. Here's Simba. How you doing Simba? Are you okay? It's 10.15 a.m. I was just outside surveilling the gate on the side of the, uh, on the, side of the house trying to figure out how a coyote could get in. And when I came back onto the patio, this cat was on the patio, and then it kind of ran toward the back fence, and then I just came inside, and it came back. So this is the little one, I believe. So like the other night when I was putting food on the platter, and I said the cat was sitting in the grass like 12 feet away from me, this would have been the cat. The inside cats just had their breakfast, and so I'm putting out a platter of dry food just to see if that cat will come back. There it is, it's under the fence, it's watching me. So if I go inside, it's probably going to come out and eat some food. So my goal is to not feed these cats at night because of the coyote that I saw last night. I don't want to keep any food out overnight that could potentially attract predators. So I'm hoping it's just a freak occurrence and it's not going to happen again. But because of that, I am going to take more precautions. And one of the things that I would like to do is not feed the cats at night. So um, if I could train them just to come around in the morning for food, that would be better. Um, so we'll see what happens. Another thing I found out is that coyotes are attracted to bird feeders. Um, they'll actually eat like the, the nuts and the seeds and what's left over. So I have to make sure that if I do feed the birds, there's no seeds or anything left at night that would attract coyotes. Another issue is that coyotes are not necessarily only nocturnal. They can come around during the daytime also. So yeah, I'm hoping it was just a traveler passing through and we're not gonna see it again and we're not gonna see any of its relatives or friends again. That's the situation right now. Here's Stella, she's by the back door. But I do feel violated. This is the first time that I actually feel violated in my own yard. It's really weird. I never felt this way with any of the other animals that have come to visit, even when we had like the crazy raccoons. It's 10.50 a.m. Here's Stella by the back door. And I was doing some work on my computer and all of a sudden I heard like a piece of metal clang. And it sounded like it was coming from outside. So I looked out the window and it was the little cat and the little cat hit this metal garbage can because it seems that the little cat ate most of the food off of the platter. So it's about 3.30 p.m. right now and I'm out here by uh, this fence and this is what I was looking at before trying to figure out how this animal um, could have come in. I've been sharing some photos of it with some neighbors and uh, half of them seem to think it was a fox 
um, because they've said that they've seen foxes around here so I am definitely hoping it was a fox because it means the cats are safer around foxes. Foxes are not known to go after cats or uh, pets uh, nearly as much as coyotes are. And I'm not saying that foxes never attack cats. What I'm saying is that uh, the percentages are way, way less than coyotes. So, um, yeah, I mean, it would have to be really, really thin to make its way through one of these bars. And the only other thing I can think of is maybe it came around this way. I honestly don't know where the fat raccoons come in from because the fat raccoons come in through here and there's no way that they're fitting through here. There's no way they're going under here. So they must be like squeezing themselves around here. That's the only thing that I can think. I don't think they're, they're hopping this fence. There's like um, a chain link fence over here and it's only about, I don't know, four feet tall. There's a fly here. What I was thinking of doing is getting some wire and just like wiring this area kind of shut. But now I'm thinking about the bigger tabby and is the bigger tabby, uh, like is that how the big tabby comes in and out? So I don't know. And this is where I have a water bowl for the wildlife. So I think right now I'm just going to treat it as if it was like a freak occurrence because it honestly was for as long as I've had these cameras up, which is like five years now. I've never seen a fox or a coyote in my yard and the more I look at the video, uh, the more I think it could be a fox just because it has a really long tail and su supposedly coyotes have shorter tails. And I came out here with a tape measure and it does seem to be not as tall as a coyote would be. So in one of the videos it is standing near these chairs and I measured the uh, the chair height and it's only about like 18 inches and it appears to be not as tall as the like the seats of the chairs. So that's making me think um, it could be a fox. Also the length of the tail makes me think it could be a fox. I definitely feel better thinking that it was probably a fox. Hello boo.
It's 7.15 and there's the little tabby. So I just went outside to shut off the light in the garage. I must have left it on. And he was walking around the yard. And when he saw me, he like stopped and then he went back to the fence. But once I came inside, then he came back. So he's looking for food. So there was just a tabby by the back door and it went running across the patio in that direction. Um, when it saw me and the little the little tabby went to the back so what I have here is I have a platter of food and I have a can of Friskies poultry platter I went to the store today and I stocked up on some cans of Friskies that's what I started feeding Stella Boo Splash and Simba when I first started feeding them outside and then I upgraded their food as we went along so that's why I got them some Friskies today and I'm just gonna see if they'll eat it and then I have some dry food in the middle. So that is one 5.5 ounce can and I should say that I am actually shocked at the price of a can of Friskies these days. So I remember buying a can for 45 cents and today the store that I bought this at, it was 76 cents. And then when I went to the supermarket later, I said, let me see how much it's being sold for here. It was 80 cents at the supermarket. So I just came inside and there's a platter of food and the behavior that these cats are exhibiting is normal feral cat behavior. This is what all the other cats did at first. You know, when I would go outside, they would run out of the yard. You know, Hydrox used to do that. Ditto used to do that. Even Stella and Boo way back when used to do that. And then I would put some food out and then they would come back. And who do we have here by the back fence? Look, it's the black and white cat. I don't really have set names for any of these cats yet. I kind of think, oh, look at this. Look, the two of them. That reminds me of Splash and Simba so much. That's exactly where Splash and Simba used to be all the time. Oh, this is one of the torties. I wonder if the cats hang out in my neighbor's yard all day. Oh, there's a third one. Is that tiny? The little one? The littlest one of the bunch? Here they're gonna they're gonna come out and check out the platter. I only put one platter out because I only saw like the two cats, but if they all come out, maybe I'll just get another platter and just put both of them out right now. Look at that. I'll let them eat what's on there and then and then I'll put another one out. I have not even eaten dinner myself yet. I was going to go maybe get some takeout today. I haven't had takeout in forever. They look really hungry. I don't know if they've eaten all day. Well, I know the little one has because the little one ate crunchies that I put out this morning. But I don't know if the other one ate. And this one by the fence is just staring at me. So I'm going to move away from the door. So they're really enjoying the wet food, the canned food that I put out. And I estimated that if there's, let's say, six or seven cats that are coming for a meal, um, I estimated about four cans of food. That's a little more than half of a can each. And, you know, if that's their only meal for the day, um, that along with some crunchies should give them a good amount of calories. Plus they are outside cats, so they do burn off more calories than an inside cat would. I think I'm going to put another platter out. It's 7.30 and I'm bringing out another platter of food. So this is another can of Frisky's poultry platter. I do mix in some water uh, so I make it a little bit more um, 
like soupier for the cats. And then there's like three handfuls of dry food in the middle. And this is what the cats did to the platter. They pretty much ate everything. There's just a little bit of dry food left. And when they saw me, they ran under the fence. And there's, there's a little one now. So I'm gonna go back inside and ideally what I would like to do is just, you know, get them all fed before it gets dark and then remove the platters, remove any trace of food. I just came back inside and someone came back to eat. I don't know if this is the little one or one of the torties. It might be the little one. Maybe he or she is the little one because they haven't been getting enough food. It's 7.51. Here's Splash and look at this. Look. The black and white cat is by the back door. Oh my gosh, it reminds me so much of Ditto right now. Here's Boo. Hello. Hello, little kitty. Hello, little kitty. And there's a big possum. Look at the possum. Wow, did you see it walk past? Look at this. Oh my gosh. Three babies. And there's a fourth one eating. I'm going to put another platter of food together. I just ordered some takeout, so before it arrives. There's Splash. He just charged the back door. It looked like he was trying to chase someone away. And there's Boo. So I just came out with uh, another can of Friskies in this white cup. Um, I just mix it up with some water in the white cup. I'm going to pour it on the platters. And then in the can, I filled it up with some dry food. I'm going to pour that on the platters also. Instead of uh, wasting another paper platter, I'll just use what's out already. So here are the two platters and I feel like the cats are starting to get a little bit more brave because they're just watching me from the periphery. And this tortie here is actually on the patio with me. Boo wants to know where his is and how come he's not getting any. Okay, I don't know what you could see because it's really dark, but there's three cats eating off of the one platter. Okay, now someone's going to the other platter. And there's a fourth cat walking around. So right now there's four cats. I don't know where the other ones are. The one with the, uh, the one with the white boots. And then the, uh, the blotchy tabby. It's 8.15 p.m. Both of these platters are completely empty, so I'm gonna put out one more can of wet food that I've um, you know, mixed in with some water and uh, some more dry food and then that's it. I'll give them, I don't know, another half hour to eat it and then I'm gonna pick up the platters. And there they are. I moved them over so I could see them from the cameras now. I was just checking the security cameras and the other two showed up. The one with the white boots and then the one with the blotches on the side. So um, I just put out some dry food. It is 9.09 p.m. I just went outside to collect the paper platters. There was a little bit of dry food left on one of them, um, but I threw the platters away, and there's a few crunchies on the patio, so I wasn't going to like sweep them up or anything. If any of the cats come back, they could eat whatever's on the patio. One of the cats was on a patio chair. It was kind of just relaxing on the chair and uh, taking a bath. And then when I went outside, it kind of ran off to the back. Okay, it might be this one that's coming back. This is the one with the white paws. Um, if that's looking for any food, it could just eat whatever's left on the patio. And so, mission accomplished tonight. The cats ate and the platters were cleaned up and the garbage was taken out and hopefully uh, there will be no unwanted visitors tonight. I also made sure both gates are shut. So hopefully that will help deter uh, some potential wildlife also. There are obviously ways into the yard because the cats are coming in and out, but hopefully any larger animals will be deterred. And I'm, I'm glad. So this cat's now eating the crunchies off the patio, whatever's left. I did see all of the cats eat on the security camera footage. Um, they all ate food off the platters at some time, so I know they've all had some food. 
Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.